<laughs> Hi again, guys. Welcome to another episode of Hockey on the Spot. Brandon Barenfeld. I'm Brandon Barenfeld. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 78 of Hockey on the Spot. Just finished episode 77. I promised another video, and so we got it. This one will be really short. We did all the updates <clears throat> for the night, so for the past few days, actually. And there were only two games from last night's action, plus only one moment from October 19th from this day in hockey history. So let's get through all that right now. Both games from last night's action ending in shootouts. So that makes things a little more interesting. We start with, and also both games were Western Conference matchups. So let's get right to it, starting with the St. Louis Blues and the Winnipeg Jets in Winnipeg. The Jets coming up huge with a victory for the Blues, their second straight night playing. Um, final score, 4-3 to three in a shootout in favor of the Jets. For um, the Winnipeg Jets, they never led in the game, and the Blues had a 3-1 lead slip away in the third. So let's get to the <coughs> scores. For the Winnipeg Jets, <coughs> their goal is coming from Ole Jokin in his second of the year, assisted by Matt Halaschuk, his first assist of the season, and his first point in a Winnipeg Jets sweater. Congratulations to him. Then, event with um, after the Blues took a 3-1 lead, Evander Kane, who returned for the Jets for this game, would score his fourth of the year, assisted by Brian Little. And then with just under eight, two minutes to go in the game, Tobias Enstrom would score his first of the season to tie the game, assisted by Dustin Bufflin and Blake Wheeler. For the St. Louis Blues, their scores were David Backus getting his sixth of the year, assisted by TJ Oshie. Then Alexander Steen would continue to be hot with two goals in the game, his sixth of the year unassisted and a seventh of the year and second of the game assisted by David Backus and Jay Bomeister. In the shootout, a lot of scores. There's a lot of players. Seven-round shootout in this one. For the Winnipeg Jets, they had Blake Wheeler, Andrew Ladd, Brian Little, Evander Kane, Anthony Peluso, who played in the game, Michael Froelich, and Ole Jokinen shooting for them. And for the Blues, TJ Oshie, Alexander Steen, Vladimir Tarasenko, Vladimir Sabotka, Kevin Shattenkirk, Patrick Berglund, and Chris Stewart. For the <coughs> Winnipeg Jets, Andrew Ladd, Brian Little, and Ole Jokinen would score the shootout goals for them. Ole Jokinen's would be the shootout winner. And for the St. Louis Blues, TJ Oshie and Alexander Steen would score in the shootout. So for Steen, he would end up with end the game with a cap trick, as they call it. That's two goals in regulation and then one goal in a shootout. So for Alexander Steen, a cap trick, so a great night for him despite the loss. Um, but again, Ole Jokinen would get the shootout winner plus a goal in regulation. Congrats to him. Um, for the Winnipeg Jets, Andre Pavlik obviously getting the starting goal. He was brilliant. 29 saves and 32 shots and 906 save percentage. For the St. Louis Blues, Brian Elliott getting his first official start of the the 2013-2014 season, and he was okay. 26 saves and 29 shots and 897 save percentage. Not spectacular, but okay. Um, obviously, the Blues will look to shrug that one off, um, and obviously, still without Maxim Lapierre, he's still serving a suspension. They were also without Brendan Morrow and Barrett Jackman for the game. So... Um, and for the Jets, they were without Devin Setaguchi. So hopefully all these guys can make qu quick, safe, and healthy returns. Um, David Backus had six shots on goal for the Blues. Andrew Ladd had five. And Mark Stewart had six, both for the Jets. And Jacob Truba, luckily, is okay. He did was okay. Um, or no, no, never mind. He This was the game where he would end up getting hurt. So hopefully Jacob Truba will be okay. Um, regardless, congratulations to the Winnipeg Jets. And last but not least, we have the Phoenix Coyotes and the Anaheim Ducks in Anaheim. The final score, 3-2, to two, also in a shootout. The Anaheim Ducks extend their win streak to six games. They now have a six-game winning streak 
on their play along with to to go along with the Colorado Avalanche and the San Jose Sharks. Although it didn't come in the first six games of the year, it did come after the first game, after a very miserable loss to the Avs in the first game, six to one, every other game they have just been amazing, and this was a game that maybe they probably should not have won. This was a game that they absolutely stole. The the Anaheim Ducks they did take a one nothing lead on a goal by Tamu Solani, his second of the season and his second in as many games, assisted by Matthew Perot, and then with. Two minutes and two seconds remaining in the game. Nick Bonino gets his th- his third of the year unassisted. A very weird kind of goal. Just a re- normal wrist shot from the point that flips up in the air. Over the head of Dustin Penner, who was screening the goaltender. Over the head of Mike Smith. Two big guys, I might add. And into the net. And M- Nick Bonino, obviously a small guy, so... Very, very weird kind of goal. And for the Phoenix Coyotes, again, they had a 1-0 lead in the game. A 2-1 lead in the game, I should say. Their goal is coming from Antoine Vermette, assisted by Keith Yandel and Mike Ribeiro. And then Rostislav Klesla gets his first of the year, assisted by Martin Hansel and Shane Doan. This shootout would go just six rounds. For the Anaheim Ducks, they would use Nick Benino, Ryan Getzoff, Corey Perry, Saku Koivu, Temu Solani, and Jakob Silverberg. And for the Phoenix Coyotes, they would use Michael Bodker, Radim Verbata, Mike Ribeiro, Antoine Vermette, Oliver ekman Larson, and the captain, Shane Doan. This was a shootout that posed a lot of scores. For the Ducks, their scores were Nick Benino, Corey Perry, Temu Solani, and Jakob Silverberg. And for the Yotes, their scores were Radim Verbata, Mike Ribeiro, and defenseman Oliver ekman Larson. And for Jakob Silverberg, he scored the shootout winner. Shane Doan had the chance to tie it up once again. Jonas Hiller denied him. Speaking of Jonas Hiller, he would be the starter for the Anaheim Ducks with Frederick Anderson as his backup. Remember, Victor Faust is out with a lower body injury after being the first star against the Calgary Flames. Um, but for Jonas Hiller, brilliant game, 30 saves and 32 shots, a 938 save percentage. Um, and for the Phoenix Coyotes, Mike Smith got the starting goal, obviously, 37 saves and 39 shots, a 949 save percentage. The shots on, as far as shots on goal are concerned, Tamu, Ben Lovejoy and Tamu Solani both led the game with five shots on goal. Um, so they were really good. But congratulations on a huge steal of a win by the Anaheim Ducks. And last but not least, we now have this day in hockey history from October 19th. In 1957, and this is a big one, in 1957, Maurice the Rocket Richard of the Montreal Canadiens became the first NHL player to score 500 goals in his career here. The date, again, October 19th, 1957, against the Chicago Blackhawks. One of the hugest moments in the history of our game. And that is it, folks. That'll do it for Episode 78 of Hockey on the Spot. Thank you for bearing with me for so long and for two videos. This has been Hockey on the Spot with Brandon Barenfeld. I'm Brandon Barenfeld. I will see you guys again real soon. Thank you, and have a great day.